Are you tired of stressing about money? Do you feel like you're constantly struggling to make ends meet? Well, this video is for you. In this video, we're going to share with you some of the signs that you're doing good in finance. So stick around until the end and we guarantee you'll feel more confident about your financial situation and learn some valuable tips on how to improve it. You know, people always keep on thinking about their financial life and it's understandable because earning is very important. But the thing is, thinking about it all the time won't boost it up. Working hard is essential, but it's not the only way we increase your income. Sometimes we think we're financially weak, but we're not. It's all because of overthinking, and this overthinking is a big problem nowadays. But to reduce this, you can do only one thing, control your brain. Your brain always keeps you awake and keeps overthinking about financial matters. Well, to control this habit, you'll have to analyze yourself. However, many people get confused after analyzing themselves and keep on thinking that they are financially weak when in reality they are not. So, what can you do to know if you're doing well in your financial career? You can read the books of billionaires, sure, but you can also watch this full video. In this video, we've given a few indicators that will tell you whether you're doing good or not. Firstly, you have a steady flow of income and you know how much you earn. You're in an excellent position if you receive a consistent wage. Knowing how much you earn makes sense once it starts flowing in. We're not talking about I earn $85,000 a year, rather we're talking about I bring home $4,000 a month after taxes and any other withdrawals from my salary. Living within your means is essential for maintaining a positive cash flow and increasing your wealth. But you must be aware of what they are. You're planning to invest. The best method to make your money work for you and accumulate wealth is by investing. Although keeping money in your cash or bank savings account is seen as a safe strategy, investing it enables it to increase in value over time with the advantages of compounding and long-term growth. The primary objective of investing is to increase value in equity, produce wealth, and generate future income. You can invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, options, futures, precious metals, real estate, or small businesses. If you have already started investing, then congratulations, you're doing well in finances. Moving on, you can pay your bills each month. According to a 2018 Pew Charitable Trust research, 55% of Americans either spend less than they make each month or break even. You're on the right track if you can pay for your rent and utilities, essential food, transportation to work, student loan repayments, and any other significant ongoing necessities each month without incurring debt. Once your urgent requirements are met, you may focus your attention and resources on increasing your wealth. You're in great condition if you can pay for not only your monthly essentials, but also some of the things you want, such as concert tickets, a trip to the beach, or a bagel on the way to work when you have perfectly good oatmeal at home, without taking on any debt. Retirement planning includes saving money for retirement, creating an income source that will provide you with money even in the future, and it also involves creating a budget for your retirement. Personal planning determines one's level of satisfaction in retirement. It allows you to live a more peaceful and stress-free life. Having investments that generate regular income during retirement allow you to live a worry-free life. Retirement is the age when one can relax and enjoy the fruits of one's manual work. But according to a 2015 global report published by HSBC, 38% of working-age people have not started saving for it and do not intend to. If you have your retirement plan and savings, then you're on a good path. Another sign that shows you're doing good in finance is when you aren't carrying any credit card debt. Credit cards generally charge hefty interest rates, which can rapidly spiral into debt if you're not cautious. If you don't pay your bill by the due dates, you'll almost certainly be charged a late fee. Credit cards make it simple to spend money, perhaps too simple for some. When you don't put money aside in advance, it's easy to become detached from your spending. It's all too easy to fall into suffocating debt if you're not careful. Credit scores essentially assess your ability to be trusted with borrowed funds. 
That's why using your credit card wisely will help you build your credit. This is also why using credit cards irresponsibly can harm your credit. High balances, late payments, and frequent applications for new credit cards can all lower your score. Because of all these disadvantages, it is better to avoid using credit cards, and if you are already doing it, then you're on the correct path. You've spoken to your partner about money. According to a 2018 Fidelity Investment Survey, many long-term committed couples overestimate their capacity for financial communication. According to the study, more than 40% of couples don't know how much their partner earns, and there are gaps in how much couples have in investable assets, how they expect to live in old age, and how they prepare for retirement at all. You'll be ahead of the game if you and your partner have regular conversations about your financial situation and future plans. Lastly, you choose to learn about money. If you've picked up a book, come across an article, or started listening to podcasts to improve your money management skills, you've taken a sensible approach that will put you ahead of many of us. You can attend multiple seminars and courses that will teach you about money management. This money management is the most important thing in proper systematic financing. Several studies of wealthy people have found that they value self-education and reading to gain an understanding of the world. If it works for them, it might work for you as well. These are some of the signs that you're doing good in finance. But remember, financial success is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort, and discipline to achieve. Keep working hard and learning about money management, and you'll be on your way to achieve financial freedom. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the video description. We also have a free guide to your financial education in the video description. Remember, we've made it our personal goal to deliver financial education to everyone. Watch our video appearing on the screen right now. See you there!